Hello, Pocoyo. Hello. Well, what have you found there, Pocoyo? You don't know? Can any of you tell Pocoyo what it is? Here comes Ellie. Oh, watch out! Good thing you came along, Pocoyo. Looks like your little friend needs someone to look after it. Caterpillars interested in those leaves. <laughs> well, caterpillars do like to eat. Oh, what a lovely cake Pato's got. Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> and this caterpillar has quite an appetite. What's next on the menu, Pocoyo? A table? <laughs> I don't think the caterpillar will eat it. Oh, well, it really is very hungry, isn't it? <laughs> and it's a lover of books, too. <laughs> Sorry, Pato, Ellie, but Pocoyo's little friend just can't seem to get enough to eat. <laughs> Looks like your little friend has been here. Caterpillar? You know, Pocoyo, with all its eating, your caterpillar friend is changing. Yes, it has made a cocoon for itself. Cocoon? Yes, a cocoon is a sort of sleeping bag, big enough for it to rest in. Can you see anything that looks like that, Pocoyo? Yes, Pocoyo, your friend is in there.
Thank you, Dr. Pato. When your little friend comes out of the cocoon, Pocoyo, it... Well, let's just say you'll be quite surprised by what it will change into. What was that? Ah, I think I can see Pocoyo's friend. Can any of you see what Pocoyo's little friend has changed into? A butterfly! A lovely butterfly. Yes, the caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. Well, Pocoyo, your friend has certainly changed. Oh, the butterfly's hungry too. Well, Pocoyo, your friend has certainly changed, but it still has the same appetite, and it still seems to be your friend. Hooray for Pocoyo! See you soon! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.